gifted young man, Mr. Delepan Kole. And let's know also that in this museum, there is a certain picture of High Life. High Life is the only music that's covered in this museum because it's the queen, queen essential art product of Europe and of West Africa. So they're friends by the trumpet music of uh, Satmo Louis Armstrong, whose picture is also in this museum to show the importance of it. And that is why the only music that is featured in this museum is high life music. And it's such a very satisfying thing to have someone like uh, Mr. Bancole to revive that art form. That art form gave us a fellow started as a high life musician and then it became a branch that became um, Afrobeat. The, um, the high life music came from Cuba, the Caribbean, and the United States. Then after the Second World War, many guitarists from the United States came to uh, Nigeria, and then in particular, the trumpet players were jazz musicians were taken over by Nigerian musicians. It was for the upper class. That's why it was called high life. It's not for the, <laughs> it's for people who had money in their pocket with beautiful girls. So there's a picture here in the museum when you come in on the right side. That picture is to portray highlight at its best. That was, um, um, his name was Roy Chicago. Oh. Yes. When I was young, I thought it was from Chicago. <laughs> yes, yes, it was Roy Chicago. He introduced the talking drum that this guy is playing here. He introduced it into, into, into highlight music. All that music was trumpet and sax in the kitchen, and it brought in the Yoruba talking drum. And after that, it became the biggest music from Africa. And it came back to America and influenced things like uh, funk music. It became, because jazz wasn't danceable, but with her life with them, you know, where you can move, it became more like funk, you know. And then that funk came back to Nigeria in the music of. Bella Razam Kitty. So we are here today to celebrate this kind of music, which is part of the culture of a great people. And I'm so happy, I'm so indebted to a young man like uh, Mr. Van Collin, we have to, who has all his talents, but doesn't want to go into hip hop or rap, which to me is not music, it is poetry. It is street poetry, it's not music. So this is a real musician, he plays the drums. <laughs> He plays, he plays the trumpet and he plays the saxophone. Yes. And believe me, um, he gave me his uh, CD and that same night I put it on my PC because I couldn't play in my car. And I said, uh, Daniel, that is a really good music. You know? Not the praise worship part because I'm not really religious. <laughs> the part I love is the highlight jazz part. And on this band, why don't you introduce your, your band members? Yeah, we're Later, okay. We're so, so what I'm here today is to say that let's enjoy and embrace our culture. And music, if any drumming is the, you could say is the essential part of Yoruba music. It is a drumming that has been there for centuries, that was brought about, that was brought to America, especially Brazil and Cuba, you know. Every single drum you have today from bongos, congas, Congo actually meant Congo. <laughs> yeah, let's get from Congo. Yeah, Congo. Bongos, Congo, you know, Akuba, uh, that's uh, the first gen base. They are all from West Africa. And we are happy that we are not going to lose this historical legacy. Thanks to people like uh, Mr. Bankole and his band. Let's give me, let's give me a very big hand. And no one let us. Let's buy the CDs, my trade, and also let's um, donate money to the course. You can say go to um, Eventbrite and pay 50 bucks for this show, even though it's almost over, as a sign of um, appreciation and respect, which I have for Mr. Van Collin. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs>